What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Just because we like outdoor gear doesn't mean your kids can't enjoy it, too. And I wanted to see what they had for the kitties out there, so I picked this up. It's an outdoor explorer kit, educational, make it yourself kit. And uh, it's by InnoCheer. Oh, my first, like my first Sony. Comes in this nice little box. It's gonna be a true unboxing. You're gonna have to break the seal on it to take a look at it. But I was really curious what kids' binoculars look like. And whenever I think of that kind of stuff, I always think of like Jurassic Park and those night vision uh, goggles. So, wow, look at this. All right, we get a ton of stuff in here, man. A uh, little thank you card from InnoCheer. Yay, warranty. We also get a couple of bags here for kind of toting everything around. Nice nylon ooh, backpack bag. Oh, cool. It's kind of cool, man. Bright, bright yellow uh, sin straps that you can throw over your shoulder. That's pretty cool. That's just, this thing has a lot of stuff in it. Holy smokes. I actually just expected it to be mostly binoculars, but we get a whole little explorer kit. So what do we get here? We get some... Um, tweezers that can help pick up things, extract things from plants, a little plastic there. We also get ooh, a magnifying glass. Um, wow, this will make a little explorer out of people. Uh, I don't deal with the legit way to do it. A little plastic magnifying glass, but take a look at that. Mm, so you can see there. Look at the bugs close up. All right. We also get, uh, actually, I'm not sure what this is. Like a little clamp. Oh, you can capture things. Boom. You get the little bug in there, right? It's got little holes there with a little smiley face on top so that your bug and on the bottom won't suffocate. It'll be in a little greenhouse though, but you can. Grab that in there without having to touch anything icky. That's cool. Dude, I would have loved stuff like this as a kid, man. And then, ah, uh, again, celebrating the bugs. This one is being pretty obvious. We have a, a real bug. I think a fake bug um, in here. And you can see, ah, uh, it's like an expandable bug um, canister. Kind of like the collapsible cups that we've seen. As you can see, it's all clear plastic in there. We'll get a little um, graduations here for measuring things, inch, centimeters. You got a cap here with another magnifying glass so we can take a real close look at what we captured. And then you get your bug. Blah, blah, blah. So you put that Capture that bad boy with this sucker. Yeah, drop him in there. Absolutely. Close that up. He ain't going anywhere. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, I will also say, I'm not sure, looks like, it's kind of interesting. I There is like another magnifying glass lens in here. I'm kind of thinking maybe it should be wedged in here or something like that. Um, not entirely sure if that's so you can look up through the bottom and have it magnified or through the top. Let me just put this back in here. Now I'm really curious and you're going to learn with me. Put that back in there. I guess it's so I can see it magnified top and bottom. I'm not sure. It's interesting. All right. Of course, if you're out there and you need a little help and you want to stay safe and call in your backup and your reserves, you also get a uh, nice little plastic whistle, looks like a sports whistle, with a compass in it. So pretty cool there too. <whistles> yep, that's loud. I didn't want to hurt my ears on it. So you get all this stuff. Now, I wasted all this time and this is what I was really got these things for. And I haven't even looked at it yet. I've been so enamored with everything else. Little nylon pouch, belt strap loop on the back, Velcro top, and we get a little pair of very colorful and serious feeling binoculars. Look at that. Rubber eye cover so you don't have to worry about being uncomfortable. 
they splay out a little bit. I can tell you the pupillary distance is going to be pretty small in this bad boy and they don't spread out too far. Kind of soft touch plastic all around, so that's kind of nice. A bit ridges here. Looks like we have focus right here. Um, looks like you can do a little dialing in on the ocular piece right there. Kind of fine focus. Looks like we even have um, kind of the coating on the, the far end. And I'm not sure what we'll be able to see here through here, but I do think they'll work. So let me see if I can focus it in here and see see through them. With these and they absolutely do work. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on camera, but if I just kind of hold them up here, you can see we really get magnified in on that stuff there. And you can absolutely, especially with the uh, focus ring and then on uh, the eyepiece itself, dial in the focus and you really get some nice clear uh, images through it. So really impressed with that. Obviously, you know, being able to capture that on camera is going to leave something to be desired, but I'm really impressed with not only the binoculars here, just as a standalone, but all this stuff here, I think it was really fun for, for kids to go out and explore and maybe get into the, the gross stuff. And that's pretty awesome. I totally dig it, man. Outdoor Explorer kit with a bag to carry it all in. As you can see there, I totally got drawn in by this thing. I was pretty enamored by it. That is pretty cool. So if you've got kids and they like to go out to the outdoors and explore, man, you should definitely pick this up. I'll put a link to the description. I am really, really impressed with it. I'll be honest. I'm, and I'm not easily impressed. Am I? Links in the description. Peter Von Pan out.